let resistance plus persistence equal progress for our party and our country. What? Thank you to the leaders who have already what? done so much. Just when you Beginning thought with Barack that you Michelle were done Obama. with this witch, Hillary Clinton, she's not in prison yet, just when you thought that we were done with her, she resurfaces and issues this call to action and this big thank you to the DNC, pledging her allegiance to the resistance, saying that she is now going to fight with them every step of the way. Now, this is Hillary Clinton who totally let down the Democratic Party. They did everything they possibly could to get her in power and the Clinton crime syndicate. They overlooked everything. They colluded with the media. They rigged the primaries. And, and now the DNC is still going on to choose their establishment candidates with their most recent uh, choice with the DNC chair. So Hillary Clinton is basically saying she is going to be part of the resistance. In this video, she talks about the massive protests going on, the people uh, in the streets with their little pussy hats and, and just continuing to go to the town halls and harass people in these town halls, demanding that they push the most progressive agenda possible. And she was so proud of the fact that they went really super left and super progressive. Let's do a little flashback. Remember in October when Hillary Clinton thought it was in the can that she was going to be the next president of the United States of America? She really got after uh, President Trump because he said he'd have to just wait and see. If, if he felt like the election results were rigged, he'd look into it. So she came out and said, peaceful transitions are key to democracies. The peaceful transition is what sets us apart from other countries in the world. Here, I'll let her tell it in her own words. A little flashback, October 2016. Well, presidential nominee has ever done. He refused to say that he would respect the results of this election. Now, make no mistake, by doing that, he is threatening our democracy. And the peaceful transition, the peaceful transition of power is one of the things that sets us apart. It's how we hold our country together, no matter who's in charge. Whether or not you support me, or you support my opponent, together we must support American democracy and the country that has given every one of us so many opportunities. Well, 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 my how the tune has changed now that Hillary Clinton is not the president. She was sure it was in the bag. She wanted to come after Donald Trump and demand that he uh, say that he would agree to this peaceful transition of power and he would agree to the election results. But then when the election results didn't go in her favor or the Democratic Party's favor or all these super progressive left, leftist SJW, commie, Antifa, not in their favor, they are now actively calling for people to resist, to take to the streets, to upset anything President Trump might try to do, even to the point where Donald Trump is having to fight with people within his own State Department. His own employees are leaking memos, leaking anti-leak meetings. Um, there's even rumors that he's being fed false information from intelligence agencies. So of course this is putting the security of the nation uh, at risk, all because of this political agenda. And here, Hillary Clinton herself coming out saying that she is now joining Keith Olbermann as well, who I guess they are now the resistance. But that's the thing is that we are going to be resisting them at every turn. Now I know coming up March 4th, there is a multi-city rally planned. Uh, Stop the fight, let's unite. This is March for Trump. They're going to have a rally here in Austin, Texas, as well as multi-cities on March 4th. You can go to marchfortrump.org. You can also check out the March for Trump groups on Facebook and Twitter to see if there's any local events in your state. But this is what we need to do. Go to infowars.com, buy the t-shirts, get the hats, get the things that you're seeing these videos where, yeah, you're actually putting yourself at risk now if you want to wear a shirt like this or wear Trump is my president. You're putting yourself at risk from these little violent leftists who don't want you to have the right to free speech, to free political thought, to open dialogue. And this is what we're up against, is these 
literal witches who are trying to cast a spell on Trump and his supporters. This is their ringleader right here. She has risen from the dead. She crawled out from under the rock. She and her husband were slithering under to say that they are going to join the resistance and fight with them every step of the way. So again, it's time for all of us to join that fight and not be afraid, not allow them to, to silence us with their violence. Leah McAdoo for InfoWars.com.